Welcome back to another iDoctor UK video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the back cover on the iPhone 14. This is a relatively simple repair that anybody can do from home. However, it is important to get good parts for this repair. To start off, we'll place the phone facing up on the heat mat for the next 10 minutes. I've got my heat mat set to 70 degrees C. However, you can use a heat gun or hairdryer to get the same effect. The part that I'll be using for this repair is a genuine pulled part from another iPhone 14 and it's got the MagSafe magnets under there as well as the wireless charger and the rear mic and flash. Also, depending on how cracked your device is, it might be a good idea to place some packing tape to prevent glass from getting everywhere. Now that the phone's hotting up, take a pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two star-shaped screws from the bottom of the phone. I'm going to add a few drops of isopropyl alcohol around all the edges of the phone and that's going to help soften the adhesive holding down the back cover. Because we've added tape to this we can pop the suction cup on there and begin lifting up to create a gap big enough to fit in our plastic guitar pick and begin lifting this back cover from the phone. If you find that these pieces of glass water are sticking, just take your razor blade and remove those or use tweezers to get them out of the way. The razor blade is going to help keep that glass from sticking to the chassis as well. And then we'll just move our plastic pick through there to try and separate this back cover. The frame's also clipped into the phone and once you've got enough out it's the same as opening up an iPhone screen, opening it up like opening a book from the back cover. Now that we're into the device we can place a heavy object behind the back cover to stop it from falling over. Then we're going to remove the two tri-wing screws from this shield here. Lift that shield away from the phone, then use a plastic spudger to disconnect the battery, isolating power from the device. Moving up to this shield here, remove the single tri-wing screw holding that down. Use tweezers to remove the shield, and then the plastic spudger to disconnect this flex here for the wireless charging coil and rear mic. That means we can now release the back cover from the phone and put that to one side for later. We've still got all this glass and glue to remove from the back of the chassis. The best tool to use for this is one of these small chisely scraping tools. You're just gonna run that along the edge of the chassis to remove all the glue and glass that remains. Just remember, if you like repair content just like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you're attempting this repair yourself, let me know how you get on in the comments below. This glue is really stubborn and an absolute nightmare to remove. But once you have removed all the old glue and glass, apply some isopropyl alcohol to the edge of the chassis and use a cleaning brush to get the last of that muck and grime and sticky stuff removed from the chassis. Now that the chassis is nice and clean, we're going to take a new adhesive seal and place it on the back of the phone, lining it up in one corner first, running it down one of the edges to ensure alignment, and then applying it to the rest of the device. It's a good idea to use a plastic spudger just to make sure that everything's stuck down nicely because if it's not, these things have a tendency to peel up and become warped when you remove the final peel. If you look closely, there is one more blue film on that seal and we'll leave that on until the very last minute. Now I'm gonna get our new part out and I'm gonna connect the flex cable onto the motherboard. I'm going to pop the mug behind it again, then reinstall the shield, holding down that flex cable that we just plugged in. Resecure the single tri wing screw into place. Then move down the phone and reconnect the battery. Reinstall the little shield and two tri wing screws. I use a little dust blower now just to make sure 
that any dust that's accumulated in the phone is blown away, especially around the cameras and the camera lenses. Now I'm happy that this is clean. I'm gonna peel back that final blue film from the seal then fold over the back cover. To ensure that it secures properly, we have to insert the top of the back cover first and then apply pressure down the edges of the device, flipping the back cover into place and finally reinstalling the two pentalob screws at the bottom of the phone. That just about completes this guide on how to replace the back cover on the iPhone 14. Thank you for watching and see you next time.